How's it going, everybody? Mark Lozano here, Christ Center Capital. A little bit of an upgrade from the dungeon. I'm actually upstairs right now. That's because no kids are home, so we're going to be able to uh, do this video without anyone screaming in the background. At Christ Center Capital, I get asked the question a lot of, are there any Christian companies I can invest in? On the stock exchange, people will tell you different numbers, but really there's three, maybe four. Some people may say five. I think there's really two on like the US stock exchange that are overtly Christian companies. So two companies does not make a portfolio, obviously. I mean, golden rules, we're gonna invest in at least 25 different assets, hold for five years. Two companies are not gonna do a real portfolio any kind of justice. So if you're looking to invest and invest long term in the stock market and everything, and you want Christian companies, well, the stock market's just not for you. Plain and simple. I'll tell you right now what those companies are. A lot of people will say, um, well, these are the four that are somewhat overtly Christian. One, we have Salem Media. It's a Christian media outlet. This is one that I actually believe is a Christian company. It's a Christian publicly traded company on the stock exchange. I mean, they do all the Christian radio and everything. People probably know Dennis Prager. He's one of the um, Hugh Hewitt, uh, all, all these guys. They're all uh, part of that Salem Media platform. They're an overtly Christian company that is publicly traded. Uh, the other one, a second one that I believe is actually a Christian company. Um, you probably see them if you're driving on the highway. That's Covenant Logistics. Um, they got the uh, whole, I mean, it says in their name, Covenant. And if you see their trucks, they have a lot of references to Christ and everything. Um, they're, they're a really good transportation company, too. We've included them in uh, some, like, mock portfolios and uh, blog posts. There are a bunch of other not a bunch, but there are a few other companies that some people argue are Christian companies. The companies themselves probably won't even say that they're Christian companies, but you have like Tyson Foods, they have chaplains that are around, but then they also support like LGBT legislation and they're not really advertising their Christianity by any stretch of the imagination, though they did start as a Christian company. The same kind of goes for Jack in the Box. Uh, if you guys remember the old logo of Jack in the Box, it used to have the Jesus Fish, which makes up Christ Center Capital's logo. Um, they've since taken that out. Another one is Alaska Airlines. Uh, they used to be a Christian company. They used to give out prayer cards, you know, for people who got in flight meals and everything, and people complained and, you know, one squeaky wheel and they stopped giving out the prayer cards another one uh marriott you know the hotel franchise and everything they uh i believe they still give uh bibles and they put a bible in every room um but i mean that's really the extent so if you're looking for overtly christian companies to invest in <laughs> your choices are really really slim so what christ center capital does is we're looking for well here's the thing we're not actually looking for christian companies we're not looking for christian investments what christ center capital does is we monitor the market we monitor the anal the analysts the stock picking influencers the the social media influencers the the um investment firms and everything like that and we take from all of these different resources what investments, stocks, ETFs, cryptos are really uh, noteworthy at any given time, you know? So this week we say we pull all these different recommendation services and blah, 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 and we come up with, all right, out of all the firms and influencers and everything that we monitor, these five or these six or these 10 or these three investments seem to be ha seem to have a consensus that they are going to do well financially or they have good financial potential. And then we provide 
analysis about those investments regarding their ethics, regarding their morality, and regarding if they're in alignment or if they're not in alignment with Christian values. So we're not actually looking for Christian investments. We are just looking for investments that are being recommended by reputable sources. And then we're providing analysis as to whether or not those investments are aligned with or opposed to Christian values, staunchly so. I mean, no company is going to be perfect. No company is really completely evil. Well, some companies may, <laughs> that case can be made, they're completely evil. But companies, we've said it all the time on our blog posts and our videos, companies and investments are a lot like people. You know, none of us are perfect. Some may be more virtuous than others. And we kind of give the material. We provide you information at ChristCenterCapital.com. And you get to make those decisions yourself. Maybe you agree with our arguments. Maybe you don't. But at least you'll be better informed after you read and after you consume the information that C3 offers. So to sum this up, this really quick video, there really aren't Christian stocks on the market. Like I said, I like Salem Media and Covenant Logistics. But throughout all of our research, those are really the only ones we found. You know, even uh, the big Christian organizations like Hobby Lobby and Chick-fil-A, they're not publicly traded. So they're out of the question, too. So if you're looking for a real Christian portfolio made up of only uh, Christian businesses and everything, you have to invest for yourself and you have to do so in your community. You know, you got to find the Christian business owners and work out partnerships and deals. C3 has always said this is the most ethical way to invest, right? If you invest in your community, you invest in local business owners, it is by far the most ethical way to invest. It's also the most risky, and sometimes it has the highest reward. But these are decisions that each individual has to make themselves. I hope this gives some clarity on what C3 does and what Christian stocks really are or how many there are on the market. But... If it doesn't, leave a comment anyway. Tell us, you know, like, subscribe this video, all that good stuff. Help us beat the algorithm. And if you're interested, go visit ChristCenterCapital.com. We'd appreciate it. The charities we support would appreciate it. And I think you'd be glad you did. All the best and God bless.